We got a O2 Ford F-150. We're about to do a heater core in here. Uh, starting out, you're going to need a 13 millimeter, a 10 millimeter, a 8 millimeter, and a 7 millimeter socket on the left side over here. Be very nice to have that little swivel he's got in his hand there. His little electric impact, so make your life very easy. He's got a pull back the weather stripping and the kick panel to get the one little nut. got to get your hood release and your parking brake release handles off of there. Pull your fuse panel cover off. That's a little piece you have to snap off around the steering column right there, a little trim piece. Got a few more little screws you got to take out to get this cover out from underneath the steering column here. the center piece unplug your airbag module so those wires don't get tight when you pull the dashboard back unplug those vacuum lines right there Just probably... got two screws right there goes to a metal bracket over there You got four nuts you have to take off to remove this tubular brace underneath the column. Keeps you from getting your legs broken or wrecked. Couple of little plug-ins you have to unhook to keep from getting tight on the right side of the steering column. Right of the ignition switch. Remove your steering column nut. About four of them. You need to be Extra careful not to break the shift indicator when coming down with it. You can release it out of the bottom of the cluster with a couple of little clips you mash in right there. It just falls right down like that. You have three screws in here, one here, one here. And one hidden back up in the hole there. So that's all you do for the left one. That's all for the driver's side. On to the passenger side. 
Ready to go here? Here's, yep. Here goes the passenger side. Man told me that uh, Ford Place put some tape under here might cause me a problem, but looks like they forgot to peel the backing off the tape, so it didn't do a whole lot of good. <laughs> Got two little plug-ins that are extremely aggravating right here. That one. And then on to the aggravating one that usually makes me say bad words. And if you haven't done one before, I promise you, you probably will. Well, that was easy. Got that one plug there. Well, I done it a time or two. Oh, okay. <laughs> If you don't want to break these, sometimes you can push up on them from the bottom and pop them out. What's a pick? Hey, let's try to hit the camera. <laughs> Got those out of there. Well, next thing I like to do is I got to get down here. Go ahead and get this out of the way. Your rocker cover, take your weather strip and pull it up, just lay it over the door here out of the way. Pull your kick panel back, get your impact though, eight millimeter or five sixteenths. Get up, flip your glove box down right here. You'll have two eight millimeter bolts up in here. That's one. Somewhere over here there is another one. Right about there. Get that out of the way. You wouldn't even look. Flip that back up there. <laughs> You have another eight millimeter. Those last three eight millimeter bolts there, they hold your airbag. So once you get that done, you can slide you something behind your airbag. Slide it out, it's got one little plug. You may want to make sure your battery's unhooked before you unplug that, <laughs> just for safety. That ain't never figured out. That's what the factory tells us. I've never had one explode on me, but I will tell you to unplug it because I don't want y'all trying to sue me for not telling you to unplug it. Got a screw here. It's a seven millimeter. Got another seven millimeter right here. There are several seven millimeters up here, but this right here is the one you want to take. And you got this. Where I remove those covers. And the first part of the. Got those two right there. And. I'm gonna wiggle this little clip out of this cover right here. And you will have either an eight or a 10 millimeter. It just depends on, <coughs> bless you. Yeah, it. it just depends on how forward we're feeling that day. Sometimes there's an eight, sometimes there's a 10 right here. This one's a 10. 
10 millimeter bolt right there. Then, you want to get these wires right here. I got these little white clips holding them to the body. Get them pulled back from the body here. Got several plug ins. Fairly easy to release, pretty straightforward. On releasing them. have a ground bolt you have to be careful with when putting back it breaks off real easy if you over tighten it going back it's a little green bolt right there got another plug in that goes right here and then you need to unplug your blower motor back here Plug. And then there's a white hose that hooks down to your beside your blower motor right here. You want to unplug that hose so it don't get tight when you're coming back. And also your antenna wire is going to be in the way the whole time you're trying to pull the dash back you go ahead and get it loose from that corner right there that'll give you some lead way on coming out get your 13 nuts just like we had on the other side over there and we're ready to come back with the dashboard uh -uh. Nut. let's do it might have to give it a little jerk. Jerky jerk. And as you come back, you have to slowly get all the antenna ties pulled off of there. And then I can take the heater box apart. If Jack would like to come and video that, he can. If not, it'll probably be done before he gets over here. You don't let off the your vent right there. It'll make your life a lot easier as far as getting the, all these other bolts back in here. But what do you get that off so fast? You get on the gas, you don't let off. pop a little vacuum wiring up out of the top of your box cover so when you pull it out you don't break it. It's very, very small, hard plastic, breaks very easily. Be sure to pop that loose or you will have problems. And there's one bolt in a bad spot back down in here. Is that it? That's it, right? Ha! You got it! Once you get that out... The flock I brought with you. 
Where can I hear it? I think I smelt it. Ooh. Damn. There it went again. Excuse me. This here is your blend door assembly. You want to pull back on that side, then pull up, then your door will pull up and come out. Uh huh. That's how you do it. Flop. He's the heater core guy. He going to get the saw. Got to have the saw. Saw the next saw. And we use this thing here that's pretty much used for making room to run new flooring underneath molding. Well, it cuts heater cores pretty good too. What you drinking there? Red Bull. It gives you wings. <laughs> Makes you pull dashboards back in ten minutes. Yeah, that's how. You, <laughs> that's how you do it, boys. Why do people drive so far to come here, and flock? To save money. <laughs> and just come see us. <laughs> <laughs>